Hello and welcome to this video. Time to learn how to handstand push up. So this is the first thing that I think you should start with just to have an idea of where you are. If you can do this controlled, you should start probably about off in the middle progressions and just jump into doing so quite a bit. And also notice that when your legs are together, I believe it is harder. So keep that in mind. So the first progression is to be able to do normal push ups. And once you can do that, you need to understand where your hands need to be. They need to be about shoulder width. The further out, the easier. So try and keep them within shoulder width. It, it uh, translates the most. So next we have pike push-ups. And you know you're doing these correctly when you can pick up your feet like just right then at the bottom. So from there, we're going to go to more uh, negatives. And just moving on through there. And now we have the frog stand and the frog stand press up make sure you go up and down this is where you're gonna be in the very beginning and it's gonna take a long time each of these are gonna take a long time so just keep rem remembering that so work on the frog stand a lot and also the elevated pike press up and the and you want to practice these both because the pike press up has a larger range of motion which is a lot nicer than if you just do the frog stand push up Always remember, try to do as much range of motion as you can. That's what makes it so difficult. So from here, we're just going to do some a negative all the way down, and then from there, pop up. So it's kind of like adding a negative and a frog stand push-up, except it's not from the frog stand. So, you, so while you're there, you're just going to lean forward with your hips already up. And you, I'm almost pressing from 90, so it shows that I'm really close. But the hardest part is at the very bottom, getting up through the 90 degrees. So keep that in mind. And we also, this is also a good progression from the progression right there. And another thing you should practice. So you have the full range of motion are wall handstand push-ups. And there's a way that you definitely should not do that. And this is, this is it. Do not arch your back. All right. You need to keep your back pretty, pretty flat. And you'll know if you do it wrong because it'll feel like this. When you like arch your back and you're pushing up like that, it'll feel like that. It won't quite look like that, but it's, you definitely don't want to do that. So keep in mind, you're going to be at all these progressions for a long time. This is a hard skill, but you also need to remember that you, the more you do it, the quicker you get it. You just got to keep banging them out, and the second you stop is the second you lose your strength. So now you should have the uh, proper progressions in order to get this skill. So... Thanks for watching, and if you want to see me doing a 30-second one-arm handstand, click this video right here.